is going on guys wiser here bringing you the recap of the last war for invicta it was against this clan iraq champions uh from iraq obviously uh they look pretty good at first glance uh some decent bases out there nothing too crazy or anything uh we'll just flip over and see what happened victory for invicta 82 to 71 <clears throat> so good job invicta uh, they did use 5460 tax. We'll just roll through what they did to our bases. Uh, missed quite a few of the nines, but had I think they had 11 three stars overall. So good for them. They gave it their best. Uh, didn't bring uh, a bunch of go wipes or anything. Um, and Invicta two dollar tens, and I think missed three of the nines. One, two, three. Yeah. Uh, so almost almost cleaned it up. Uh, a few really close ones too. I um, think I saw Warb in here for 99%, and then, yeah, kickbacks for 95%, so really tough ones. Um, again, just trying to work uh, work on always cleaning on the nines. That's, that's always, always, always the focus, so um, just missed the mark on that one, but some really good replays to show. Um, yeah, I'm just going to hop right in here against their top town hall nine. Peter has been just tearing it up for Invicta. So, uh, definitely want to feature this attack because very impressed brings an earthquake, uh, option here opens up a huge piece of this base right over top of that queen. I love the giant here with the, I think it was six hogs on that cannon. Uh, they're going to go ahead and get a couple cannons and get the CC lure. Uh, he knows it's a hound. He really needed to get that hound lured out. He's brought uh, a couple archers and a healer. Uh, and as soon as those hogs go down, sorry, let's zoom out here. Uh, as soon as those hogs go down, he's just going to yank it up to those archers, drop the healer, and the hound is now taken care of, null and void. Goes ahead and sends uh, Shattered Entry in here at about the 4 o'clock section. Great funnel. Uh, really just good spread on that. Uh, kind of perfect f setup to do a funnel on that side, actually, of the base. Uh, so it opens a wall up almost as a wall breaker fail there, but uh, ends up getting through. Uh, two golems go in. Queen's backing it up. Still has not dropped his king. Great patience on the king. I definitely would have sent that bad boy in by now. There he is. But uh, doesn't even get a taste of the defensive queen. He just uh, walks in there. He's going to add some tanking. Already has sent in probably I think 20 hogs in from this uh, six or sorry seven seven eight o'clock position. Uh, heel goes down. Uh, defense is going down left and right. Like these hogs are just shredding through this base. Still has a heel uh, in the bag as well. It's going to go over top of these crossbows up top. Uh, that hound, as you can see, is still taking care of. Drops a cleanup whiz on this huge line of uh, high hit point defense uh, storages. Sorry. And really, it's fantastic at this point. He's got a Tesla. It's one little compartment left, and it's GG. Nice job, Peter. Absolutely tore it up. Still has an ability on its queen. A hog in the bag for cleanup with an archer. Sexy, sexy attack. Beautiful. Right, that's your three star. So my next one I had here, I think, was seven. Yeah. Ryan just recently joined back to Invicta. He took a bit of a hiatus. Um, so welcome back, buddy. Here is your first uh, recap video since you've been back. Um, goes ahead and sends in the golem right on top of that cannon. Few wizards around, start creating that funnel. Drops the queen in behind. Drops another giant. Uh, sorry, not another giant, but drops a giant on this cannon up here just to protect his wizards. Keep creating that funnel. So he goes ahead and sends a drag swap in. You mind there's a level 30 archer queen he's dealing with. Um, so sends a few minions, a wizard, just to kind of make sure everything funnels right in that at that queen. She has the question mark. Dragon is now aggroed. He's gonna go ahead and drop a rage. Boom, there goes the rage. Queen is dead in two puffs. Those dragons are free to do whatever they want now. Uh, his kill squad, is, the king does take a bit of a walk with that golem. At this point, it doesn't really matter. Though. The CC has been taken care of. That was really all he all he needed out of that. He sent in a bunch of hogs now, just kind of sprinkling on all sections of the base. Nice early heal. Gets all those Teslas going right in on that crossbow. It's going to drop in like a second. He's got one more heal. He's going to kind of drop over this center section with the two Teslas. As soon as his hogs make their way down there, there goes the second heal. Bam. He has all those skellies on him too, and it's just, it's just not enough. He has so many hogs in here. Still two more kind of sending in on this flank side. Uh, really just the crossbow, the wizard tower, and the cannon, and then this bottom little section that the queen and wizards are taking care of. Ryan just beasted this attack. Nice job, buddy. Boom. Rages up his king. Still has a dragon. That dragon is still doing work. I love it. 
Nice job. Nice three. Uh, what did I have next? 11. Alpha. Sexy redhead attack. Uh, so really just one jump, three heals, and a poison. Uh, that's kind of the spell comp kind of surprised me there, but uh, I really liked it in the end. Because uh, as you'll see, it goes ahead and descends. It gets this huge funnel. even drops the giant down there. That's what I liked uh, I liked about that as well. Just to make sure he gets that last building. Doesn't quite get it. Uh, it doesn't matter. That's a huge funnel for his Valks. This wall opens up. King goes in. Valks are going to go in right behind all this stuff. Uh, I don't know who puts a double giant bomb on their outer 3 o'clock apartment. Uh, but I guess this guy does, so Alpha just makes this guy pay because of this. Poison goes down. Uh, it's a Dragon and Loon, so that's no problem. Queen's going to start taking that stuff out. All these Valks are in there now. The King's in there. Heal goes down for the Valks. They're going to move in, take out the defensive Queen. She goes down in a few hits. Bam, bam, bam. Down she goes. Uh, so everything's looking pretty nice at this point. The King takes a bit of a, a, bit of a gander down the... Uh, down to this crossbow, which I kind of like because uh, it ends up working out. He ends up raging it up and taking out this section. Uh, hogs go in to kind of give him a little bit of defense. Heal goes down for the Hogs. Uh, probably didn't even need to drop that at that point. Uh, but just being safe, he did bring three heals, so you may as well use it. You can't heal dead Hogs. Uh, so there goes the other double giant bomb at the outer 9 o'clock compartment. <laughs> Side note, guys, don't put your double giant bombs where they're so easily uh, accessible like that. That's just poor, poor placement. Uh, but like I said, Alpha just makes this guy pay. A few hogs left kind of working their way through the end of the compartment. Um, I don't think they quite get this cannon, um, which I was talking about before with these Valk attacks. A lot of times you end up, your hogs don't quite take out all the defenses but you have these valks your heroes get so protected from the valks they have like this queen still has full health with the ability like she didn't get touched this entire raid just been killing buildings this entire time so uh yeah and it's a matter of time and he has he has stuff on every building wizards clean up wizards on the bottom so alpha just killed it buddy nice job that's your three uh right let's go down the map kind of trying to show stuff from the top the bottom oh not that one 23 skip i really like skip's attack here uh so six valks again but brings a queen walk and it's a go valo not a go vaho so um <laughs> other thing about it, some very weird bases like weren't the most terror like they weren't symmetrical form bases but just some strange things like the highest hit point storages in the corners like that's just not good so skip just brings a queen walk first drops a goblin at each of those storages start taking them out right off the bat brings this queen walk he's just gonna walk all the way down here see the earthquake went down right over the town hall opened up a big 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 section of this base that's what he's brought this, the valks and the shattered entry for two golems and all those valks are gonna go right to that queen take out the cc take out everything in here all those air defense the queen's already taken an air defense so as soon as those valks go in he has one air defense that he's only kind of worried about and uh sorry he didn't bring a shattered entry he brought a cold-blooded entry with the valks that's right, because in this counter castle, he has a max lab hound that he's going to send in on this air defense. Really creative attack here. I liked it. Uh, this is Go... Uh, what, what would it be? Uh, uh, go Valalo, I guess? Yeah, with Queen Walk. <laughs> so nice job on that, Skip. As you see, all the Valks, the King are in. They're just going to work their way into this base. The Queen ha uh, does get caught up on this Lava Hound, but it's no big deal. Valks are going to take all the buildings down for her while she works on that Lava Hound. As soon as the Lava Hound and, and some, another one of this air defenses go in, you'll see uh, Skip's Lava Hound come in from the Clan Castle, and he just has 14 balloons spread all around these outer defenses. And this base just does not stand a chance at this point. Absolutely not. Uh, still has the rage up on his king. Like I said, uh, Lava Hound goes in. Two, three balloons just kind of sprinkling all around this base. Like, just does not stand a chance. That Lava Hound did great tanking. Just beautiful attacks here, Skip. I just loved it. Um, still a few pups working on that king. Uh, the queen ends up losing sight of them, but it's not a big deal. The uh, the Max Lava Hound bursts. They start attacking these pups. There goes one. Last pup is down. There is just nothing but trash left. Beautiful job, Skip. I just, I, a really creative attack. I like this one. With the swag haste, you forgot to use it. You were gonna sweat. You were gonna use it to go in on those Teslas. I know you were. Uh, okay, I got one more, real quick for you. 
26 feathers brand new member of one hive invicta welcome man to your first recap just brings a straight shattered strider goho here with three heels one jump this is a standard issue you look at a base like this when you see a base like this guys um it's pretty obvious where the traps are there's only four possible spots so there could be in any number of combination of things uh, but you can account for that in your attack. So uh, Feathers kind of comes in from the bottom spot here. I thought he was going to jump right over. It. Like, I would have jumped over into everything so that my golems would have got a split. Because if you get these cannons in the Wiz Tower, um, I, maybe it was a cleanup. I don't know. Um, but he doesn't even take out any double bombs because he comes in from this direction with his hogs and they cut across straight and the double bombs happen to be here so he triggers them one at a time uh, and they're under heal and it's it works out absolutely great so um things looking good right defensive arch queen is down cc is handled uh this queen takes a bit of a walk so he rages it up takes out those defenses and she just goes on to clean up duty for the rest of this raid which is awesome hogs in all over he's got the heels down still one more heel in the bag for this over the tesla crossbow section um, and like I said, there's the double giant bomb. They got triggered separately, so that worked perfectly. The other bomb ends up getting taken out. The pathing got taken out by the queen down here. So beautiful job, Feathers. Nice job, man. Mortar is the last defense. So sorry, the uh, crossbow, I should say, or expo. I always call it a crossbow. Must be a Canadian thing. Sorry, guys, my allergies are still going nuts. If I sound kind of nasally like Lois Griffin or something. Um... But yeah, nice four Invicta. Great job. Uh, just working on cleaning up the rest of those nines. But uh, definitely a fantastic job overall, guys. Uh, overall effort was was just great. I saw a lot of great communication, a lot of good plans getting tossed around, sketches. Um, so hats off, Invicta. Uh, I think I'm going to call it a night here, guys. So that does it for your wisdom from Wiser. I'm just trying to help you guys bag that next three-star. And until then, I'm out.